So in the Ilka 7, it's uh, largely similar, but kind of a bit different. We obviously use a bit less kicker, and if you excuse the dolphin, that's a bit distracting in this video clip. You can kind of see that my sail is relatively deep in the foot of the sail. Um, I don't have a huge amount of kicker on, and obviously just enough downhaul to take the creases on. So if I just play that again. So here you can see yeah, kicker, dolphin, <laughs> bit of outhaul, and just enough downhaul to take the creases out, but not enough to actually pull the sail into and affect the shape too much. Now, one of the key things uh, in light winds to, to make yourself faster is the maneuvers. And if you can do trigger pulls and roll tacks well, you can really improve your uh, upwind boat speed. So you can kind of see here we're lining up on the start line. And what we want to do to trigger pull is obviously get up to speed as quickly as we possibly can. So you can see here we go. We heel the boat to leeward, do a nice flatten, and go straight into a upwind high mode. And just by getting a good acceleration, you can see how much I sort of keep gliding for a long, long time, which really, uh, really will help your VMG. So if you can do trigger pulls and roll tacks well, it will massively affect and help your boat speed. And effectively, every time you, you feel the boat stalling out, you can just put another tack in. Um, so if you want to get good in light winds, doing uh, trigger pulls is a great way to do it. And uh, making sure your trigger pulls and your roll tacks are good will really affect and help your boat speed overall. So, so if we just watch that again. And you can see that maneuver there affects for the next five, six boat lengths. So the glide is quite, uh, it's quite impressive. It lasts for a long time. And here we've got another few examples of some roll tacks. So key thing when we're roll tacking really is to make sure that when we are tacking, when we get to this stage here, we're not waiting in the middle of the boat for the wind to blow us over. Effectively, when we go into the tack, we want to make sure that our body weight is far enough on this side that the boat naturally wants to tip on top of you. If you find yourself having to wait in the middle of the boat for it to, the sail to cross and then fill, it's, you're basically just slowing down the maneuver. So you want the boat to almost be capsizing through the middle of that maneuver so you can jump out to the new side and uh, complete your tack. Okay, so we're now going on to medium winds. Uh, so this time fully uh, like hiking conditions um, and on to Hannah for that one. So yeah, it's a sort of like, I would sort of call it you're hiking but it's not fully, fully shoulders out extended. Um, so hiking is a whole separate topic. Obviously come for Chris's talk afterwards and he'll be talking about hiking fitness and things like that but what I'm really keen to do when it's medium winds is feel super connected to the boat you can see I'm doing a little bit of shoulders in and out movement and some kinetics to try and get myself over the waves so I have quite a tight toe strap I'm really tall for a start but also I just feel that it locks me into the boat so there you can see a little shoulders back movement um, and rather than pulling out on the toe strap which is what a lot of people do. I try really hard to pull up because, because of the physics. That means that that pushes the back of your legs into the deck, so you're just much more connected into the boat. So in terms of setup, you want to be sufficiently depowered that you're able to keep the boat nice and, nice and flat or constant heel. That's absolutely critical in terms of speed. But you also want to have as, as much power as you can take whilst keeping the boat flat. So I would be pulling on a bit of downhaul, still have probably half a hand to a whole hand's length of outhaul depth in the foot of the sail. And then kicker-wise, block-to-block kicker. So you take the slack out of your kicker when your main sheet blocks at the back are together. The only thing that I would say is different with that is if it's getting sufficiently windy that you need to ease the sheet to be able to keep the boat flat, then I would pull a bit more kicker on so that the blocks again go more out than up. 